I feel it's really good because it's, uh, I mean, this visit to Hungary, the second time, I can see that the standard of the dancers has actually risen. Mm -hmm. And many of the dancers have actually come to us and said that they've been applying the, um, the philosophy of music translation. And I can actually see that in their dancing. Um, it's not just talk. And I'm very, very happy about this because it makes me feel really good that Serena and I have managed to get, you know, information into the dancers and to help them achieve a higher standard within their own art. This is a very beautiful country full of magical history and full of um, very powerful, strong events that shaped the, the, the nation as it is today. And I can see even just from the theater that we're in today, you know, what kind of lots of arts you have here and you had in the past. So I'm very pleased to be back again. Thank you so much. So You're welcome. Nice to hear this verse. I think you opened the eyes of the dancers. They are watching different events. They would like to learn different events. Uh, also the audience. Um, how did you see the show, the Hungarian dancers? Um, well, this time I actually think they are so much better. Yeah. Definitely. It really is impressive. The, the change is quite impressive, isn't it? Yeah, the change from two years ago until today. And it's not just in one or two dancers. Mm. It's like in all the groups that we saw. The choreographies are demonstrating the music. And the, 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 the motion is translating the instruments. I mean, this is pure art, you know. This is how it should really be. And we're very happy to be part of actually delivering this to the Hungarian artists because you guys are, are very dedicated. I can see girls sitting there with pens yeah, and papers. Yeah, they are really on it. You guys are really on it. And you're very fast in understanding. You don't have, you know, this long... It's like you, Hossam is saying something and you... Ah, oh, it clicks very fast, which is really nice to see. Mm. And you're quickly applying as soon as you learn, you're there applying. It's really also great. You see this uh, on the workshops? Yeah, yeah, the workshops. Very fast pace. Yes, very I mean, fast pace. This weekend we taught two very complicated, very complicated choreographies. Usually you would want to spend one week on each choreography four hours every day, normally. But the girls did it in one day, and we had some time to spare. Yes. <laughs> you know, it was really good, very good. The Hungarian dancers are, I can see a very big future for them. I like to make the dancers understand the music. Because if they understand the music, they will see the logic behind the movement, do you know? But we could do the workshops in a completely different way, whereby Serena will just say, okay, just follow me. And I'm standing there with the tabla, you know, just playing a few rhythms and no information. Um, I think the artist is also a scientist, you mm -hmm. see? An artist is also a scientist. They have to understand the physics of the body, they have to understand the bio biology and pathology of the body and they have to understand from a physics side, they have to understand the aerodynamics of the body motion and they have to understand space, they have to understand ground and they have to understand points in locations, you know. And if they understand these things, they will be able to apply it very quickly. And this is what we teach them. We just teach them the very basic elements of the music and then their art can fly, you know. Like if you look at some of the great artists of the world like um, Salvador Dali or Rembrandt or Picasso, 
these guys were great painters and artists, but they also were excellent, excellent chemistry and scientists of the, of the oil paintings and how to mix it. And they were scientists of color, you know, and now you're dancers and it's down to you because you're the one who's bringing us here, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you are behind this. So all of them are your dancers and you are giving them this opportunity, you know, to, um, to become more able. And that is a gift that... This was my reason for so many... Contacted me. Yeah. You contacted me in 2006, 2007. And actually, I got more hmm. than I expected. Oh, thank, thank you very much. You. Yes, I do believe that um, the drummers should study with the dancers. And I would like to do, maybe in the future, a drummer-dancer interactive class on a Monday evening for the dancers that did the workshops. Then get the drummers and teach them about drumming for the dancers. Um, the reason I did the, uh, the, the number of rhythmic illusions tonight was to, because I know that there were some drummers in the audience, you know, and I wanted them to understand that practicing just technique alone, you know, trying to get fast with the drum is not really the target here that there is a much bigger and so way far out for them target that, and goal that they should look like at. And that is the understanding of rhythm and the understanding of time. And I'm sure many of them today will be thinking very much that mm, I need to really understand. And I hope that I deliver that message. So next time when we come, I hope it's not going to be snowing. <laughs> <laughs> May. It's, it's, it's going to be in May and we will, we will do something, I hope, something very good and we can have some drummers. I would be, because you see, I have also for the drums basic things that will make them as good in drumming as the basic things make the dancers good in dancing. So I look forward to coming back to Hungary and Yes, and to, to, doing, to doing some more work and, and helping some more. And maybe one day we can bring my band. Inshallah. And have a ball. Inshallah, indeed. <laughs>